Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Don't be an ATM for women. And now this is very important because you know I, you know I'm always talking about getting sex without uh, you know spending money on a woman or you know and of course some guys come back and say well you gotta spend money on them eventually. No, you can spend money if it's your choice. If she's a woman who's shown that she is in cooperation with your operation and you like going to eat at different places and stuff, because I've dealt with both. I've dealt with some women, shoot, they weren't big on going out. But if I wanted to go to a fancy restaurant, yeah, I didn't have a problem then, but I didn't have to. See, there's nothing wrong with that. But you become an ATM with a woman when she will only deal with you depending on how much money you spend. And see, the thing is, there's a lot of guys out there because they have that mentality. They feel like, well, let me just throw some money at a woman. Eventually they become an ATM. Cause women do that. There's some women out there, they're unscrupulous to the point. They do that with some men. Like I never forget this woman I had worked with and she had men, she had this one guy she never had sex with, just giving her money. And me and this other dude, we said, well, you need to break him off some. And she was like, she do that. He won't give her money anymore. I was like, okay. And unfortunately there's a bunch of men out there who feel like if they just give money, the woman's gonna reciprocate. See, you become an ATM to a woman when she doesn't reciprocate, or when she gives you very little, but you're spending all this money. Or a woman say, well, you know, you gotta take me out to all these places, you gotta wait 90 days. Hmm, where have we heard that before? Or something, but you spending all your money on her and getting very little back. You paying bills for her. See, that's when it gets bad. Like if y'all, look, if you're a man and you decide you want to go to a fancy place and she's proved herself in cooperation to, her, to your operation, you want to take her, go for it. I've done that. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. You know, we in a relationship. Oh, I don't have a problem. If we're in, already in a relationship, ain't no problem because you getting something out of it too. You eating at the place too. You ain't going someplace you don't want to go. Okay, but see, there's some guys, you know, they doing all that, they leading with their wallet to the point of they thinking they gonna convince the woman with the money. And see, a smart woman, because remember, women got some game too. A smart woman, she'll make you spend all that money. Or she'll find some other way. Like I remember hearing about this one woman, she was living in a, a upscale neighborhood, nice apartment, didn't pay for a single thing in there. This dude told me about her. She said she ain't, she ain't pay for anything in there. Because unfortunately you got some guys out here on some trick shit. You got some guys on some trick shit. So, you know, that's the thing. What are, the, what are you doing for that? You gotta ask yourself, does she see you as a man she wants to hang out with? Or you an ATM? This is how you tell too. Does she want, it, it's a very simple too. Does she want to spend time around you or does she have sex with you or sex or spend time? Just let's just say spend time overall because sex is spending time with you. Does she do that without you spending money? It's very simple. Does she just like talking to you? Does she just like, you know, text you, say, hey, how you doing? Want to talk to you on the phone? Want to spend time with you without money being involved? OK, that's a good one. That's a good woman. And then anything you happen to spend afterwards, that's cool. In fact, she'll spend some money. A woman who really interested in you, she'll spend, she'll, she'll, she'll treat you sometime. Maybe she'll buy you a gift or something. Or she'll make you a plate. She'll take her time and make you a plate. Okay, they're cool. But if you have a woman who she ain't gonna spend any time with you, or you gotta spend money. You got like I remember this guy telling me how much money he spent on a woman and he ain't getting nothing from her. I'm like, why? Wow, that's not something I would do. But he's leading with his wallet. He's an ATM. Because, and you can especially tell when you get some women, they talking about, well, I need this bill paid. I need this bill paid. You get some guys, they paying the rent for women, they buy they paying the electric bill and all of that stuff for the woman.
You're an ATM at that point. You buying gifts, you fixing up stuff, everything. Shoot, you could even be getting her hair done and everything. You know, she's like, see, she getting her hair done for another dude. She'll get, she'll get the man something, some other man to pay for it. And you get a lot of women on that. And in fact, I was dealing with this one woman. And she grew up in a notorious hood. I ain't gonna call it because I don't want to identify. Some people gonna know who she is. But she said the women in her building, in this notorious area, and I'll just say BGS knows who it is. No, well not who it is, but knows the area. But I'll leave it like that. She said all the women in her building used to just play men. Just play men for money. Just play men for money because they become an ATM. Look, if you deal with a woman, keep your wallet in your pocket. Find out what's up because if she really wants to deal with you, money doesn't become involved. And for all of those who will say, well, you got to spend money at some point. Well, you're telling me right there that you're an ATM. You're telling me right there. Because when a man even has that mentality, women look for that. The player women, the women, the gold diggers, the Women on that real, on that, on their game, on their manipulative game, are looking for that guy who thinks he just got to spend money, and they're going to use it. They're going to use it, because as soon as you offer that wallet, like like a woman really ain't interested in you, she'd be like, "Why are you offering me money? I'm just trying to get to know you." You know, it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal to a woman trying to use you, and you got to be like, "No, no." Because like I said, you already know if a woman really want to be around you, if she wants to be around you and no money is involved. But if she's making it like you got to spend money on me or you got to take me out to this fancy restaurant, boom. Like I remember this one woman, I never forget. She said she had 95 restaurants she had to go to. She was making more money than me. I was like, no, <laughs> no. And she thought I had a problem. I was like, no, no. Fine, you you making it like that. You barely know me. You already got places you trying to go. It's like, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because I'm going to tell you what, I don't even trust women like that. Because that same woman who making the man pay and who's turned a man into an ATM, that same woman is going to get with some guy for free anyway. My thing is, I'm getting, I want to be the guy she get with for free. I want to be on that side of the game. But unfortunately, you get a bunch of guys you know, they leading with their wallet. They think they influencing a woman. No, they ain't. You paying her rent? You paying her rent? You buying a car for? Because even, sugar, ba even uh, sugar babies, sugar babies know what they doing. Sugar babies know what the fuck they doing. That's just another form of game. And you get some guys thinking they doing something. I was like, nah, that woman playing you, dude. That woman playing you. So you don't want to be an ATM. You want to be that man, she wants to just be around. That's how, like I said, that's how you know that she wants you. But she's putting money in it or acting like it. And even some women who come against that, they, you might get one who might come on here and say, no, they got to spend money. Block. I don't play with it. If you get a critical mass of men who say, oh, no, nah, hold up. Only way I'm going to spend my money, you got to show you really down for me. And really, I'm spending stuff that I'm, uh, I'm benefiting from. Like I said, I don't, personally, I don't have a problem taking a woman to a fancy restaurant if it's a place I want to eat and taking her with me, which means she did some stuff that earned her the right to come with me, you know, if I don't want to eat alone. Same time, I don't have a problem eating by myself. So, boom. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all. Peace. Well, for now, y'all know how I do. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.